Bevesh Agarwal, the founder of Unicorn Startups OLA Cabs, OLA Electric, and Krutra Mai on Saturday May 11 said that OLA would stop using Microsoft's cloud computing platform Azure and migrate to Krutram's cloud. The announcement came amid Agarwal's ongoing tussle with professional networking platform LinkedIn over the removal of a post made by the former on the platform. Since LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft and OLA is a big customer of Azure, we've decided to move our entire workload load out of Azure to our own Crewtrim cloud within the next week. It is a challenge, as all developers know, but my team is so charged up about doing this, Agarwal said in a post on X. He also said that Crewtrim will offer free cloud usage for a year to any developer who wants to leave Azure. At the heart of the issue is an answer given by LinkedIn's iChatbot to a question. When the OLA CEO asked the chatbot who is Bavish Agarwal, it responded by using the pronoun they for him. This irked Agar in a LinkedIn post, Agarwal framed the chatbot's answer as a pronoun illness and expressed concerns about Indians copying this practice. On Friday, Agarwal again took to social media and alleged that LinkedIn again deleted his post and didn't even notify him. He added that he would announce his next steps on the issue on Saturday. In his post today, Agarwal said that the pronouns issue is a woke political ideology of entitlement which doesn't belong in India. LinkedIn has presumed Indians need to have pronouns in our life and that we can't criticize it. They will bully us into agreeing with them or cancel us out. And if they can do this to me, I'm sure the average user stands no chance. As a founder and CEO, this Western DEI system has a major impact on my business as it grows an entitlement mindset in our professional lives and I will fight it, the serial entrepreneur's post read. Agarwal said he would work with the Indian developer community to build a digital public infrastructure DPI for social media. This is in line with what the OLA co-founder said earlier this week. In a post on X, he highlighted the success of Unified Payments Interface UPI and the Open Network for Digital Commerce ONDC and questioned the need for social media to remain a walled garden. Meanwhile, Agarwal's announcement about OLA moving to Crutrum's cloud comes just a week after the Generative I Unicorn announced opening its cloud platform to enterprises, researchers and developers. Along with this, Crutrum also announced the release of its Android APP. It is pertinent to note that this isn't the first time that Agarwal has taken on the dominance of a multinational giant. Electric vehicle EV manufacturer OLA Electric moved away from using Google Maps to the group's in-house OLA Maps in January. The company commercially launched the maps with the mass rollout of the Move OS for software platform for its electric two-wheelers in January. 